What's up everybody, it's your boy Cord Racer back again in a YouTube video for your viewing enjoyment. And I gotta talk about this. I am sick and tired of these lizard squad losers gaining respect or gaining fame from 12 year old kids who have no idea how this shit actually works. So today we're gonna talk about DDoS attacks. And first off, I work in IT, I work in networking, I do all this shit so I know exactly what this is and I've built infrastructure to stop DDoS attacks. So it's not that difficult. I don't know how Microsoft and Sony do their thing. They might have a more complicated system, but from what I gather, it shouldn't be that difficult to stop these things if you have the right technology in place. So first of all, this is how a DDoS attack looks like. You have this little nerd over here in the corner this is what lizard squad looks like and he's controlling from his system a controller box meaning he's sending data to this machine somewhere out on the internet now he's telling that machine to these other infected computers or infected servers or dummy servers or whatever that that are out there okay to send data to the victim so the victim in this case will be playstation network and Microsoft Xbox Live okay so these zombie machines are saying hey PSN I want this data but this data never does exist so what this PSN and Microsoft Xbox Live do is respond by saying I don't have this data but the response back to the zombies is ignored by the zombie machines because the zombie machines are being told that any response back from the victim you do not listen you close the port so then the zombie machine sends it out again and again and again and again. Now a zombie machine can send out one piece of code that is very minuscule, pictured as a grain of rice. But the information it wants back can be the size of, I don't know, a Ford F-150, okay? And so the victim, whereas PSN and Xbox Live is trying to send back a Ford F-150 when only the zombie machines are sending it grains of rice. Okay, that's the easiest way to we could say this. Basically, the servers on the Xbox Live system and the PSN systems, they can't handle the data going out, data coming in, because whatever it's sending out is getting ignored. So for every piece of so for every Ford F-150 it's sending out and not getting a response back, in those servers it sends the data again and again and again. So if there's let's say 10 zombie machines or zombie servers sending data and if they don't get a response, the PSN and the Xbox Live servers are sending 10 F-150s again and again and again until you get a response back. They're never going to get a response back. So basically, this is all it is. It's not hacking. It's not, oh my god, I'm the greatest hacker in the world. Oh my god, I'm the best person in the world. Look at me hack this data center. Look at me hack this. All you're doing is sending a piece of code from one machine to another and telling your machine to not answer the machine you're at your attack. Anybody can do this. You can do this from your house. The only issue with that is, is that your internet service provider will get wind of it and then they'll just fucking shut you down because they have things installed on their servers to know that. Okay? So, that's all this is. Let's stop giving them fame and fortune and oh my god, if, if we get 10,000 followers on this new account, We'll stop it. First off, basically what happened with PSN is from the amount of time you were hitting it with data, all they did was shut down their login and listen server. So after that, your attacks were probably nothing. They were going out to thin air and they weren't getting to where they were supposed to get. Now, the listen servers that you, you use to log in, because that's the first line of defense. If you are already logged in when a DDoS attack happens, you are not affected. So when someone says, some like Keemstar says, PlayStation Network is getting DDoS attacked, it's offline. But you're saying, no, it's not, I'm online. Well, the reason why you're online is because you've already passed that login listen server. You, you, you're no longer part of that connection. It doesn't need you anymore, so you have no issues bypassing anything that's happening. First off, that's how that works. 
Next, how you stop a DDoS attack. Now this is not the hardest thing in the world. I can't find um, a better, um, I don't know, basically like a an image. I can't find the, a better image to do it and I'm too lazy to fucking um, draw one out. So basically this is how it works. It's called an RRL, okay? So an RRL, if, you're no, if you don't know what it is, Google it, but I'll tell you anyway. Basically, it's a it's a limiter, a response rate limiter, meaning if I'm asking a, a server for data and it sends me the data, but it doesn't get a response back saying, I got the data. So you send it again and again and again and again and again and again. If you put a response limit on it, meaning if you've tried five times, you don't get a response, stop sending it. Basically, that's how that works. Okay? So, if I'm sending an image, or if I'm sending data back to these zombie machines, or DNS servers, or whatever, and I'm not getting a response back after five, ten tries. First off, you wouldn't do five or ten tries, it's too small. But, I'm just, for example, so five or ten tries. If I don't get a response back, you stop sending that data. If it gets another one, you stop it after five. Stop it after five. Stop it after five. Now, once you start getting into trying to block DDoS attacks on a grander scale, so when I've built e-commerce security systems, meaning you know security systems that Amazon has or fucking Walmart or whatever, if they constantly see the same amount of data being requested from the same IP address or the same location, what a response rate limiter will do is it will stop that and it will block it. It will block it and say, this IP address is requesting too much data. It's not getting a response back. It's bypassed our limit multiple times. I'm blocking it totally. So if a zombie machine is sending data to my server, I'm on my server is automatically saying, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm not even giving you a response. That's one way of stopping a DDoS attack. That's the easiest, simplest way to do it. There, of course, there are other ways around it because then you start sending DDoS attacks from other servers and blah, blah, blah. But eventually, you'd have to have thousands and thousands of servers to get past a response rate limiting server or piece of the code to stop it, a DDoS attack or to get past it. That's the easiest and simplest way to do it. Of course, there's other ways of beefing up firewalls, routers, you know, putting a, a firewall, a, a separate firewall from a, from the router. Don't have the firewall in the router. Uh, the data center you're on will max out. Once you max out your data, it'll shut it down, and then it'll reboot itself. It'll constantly do that kind of stuff. There's many ways to stop a DDoS attack. When you hear people saying, "Well, there's no real way to stop a DDoS attack," that's because they don't know shit. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing. You can stop one. If for, for at least 24 hours, you can stop it. Now, if these guys are persistent, what happens is the next day, if you can try it again, you got to go through the whole motion again. That's what's happening with Sony and Xbox. They try it. They probably get blocked a couple of times. They try from different locations and stuff like that. That's kind of what happens, and that's why they break apart their attacks. So... All in all, okay? All in all. These people who do DDoS attacks are not hackers. They are people that Google DDoS attack code, got the code, put it on their machine, sent it to another machine, and said, you send out this data to this location and don't allow a response back. That's all it is. That is all it is. It's not some special hacking. It's not some special look at me blah 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 I'm the greatest hacker in the world I need a hundred thousand followers on Twitter before I can fucking stop this because my e-dick is still too small don't give these guys a fucking time of day till next time for your boy Cord Racer I'm out peace